Hello everyone, it's Mr. Gallagher with his tie and his scarf on. E is for Evergreen, a Washington alphabet. It's written by Marie and Roland Smith, and illustrated by Linda Holt Aris. Large picture here. There's text to read and then there's dense text over here which gives background information about each of the page letters and the stories that are connected there. <clears throat> a is for apple, so many on a tree, crisp and ripe, ready to pick, plenty for you and me. Whoop, I hear rhyming again, tree and me. B is for Bigfoot. People wonder to this day, are they fact or fiction? Mm. It's difficult to say. C is for Columbia River. Through our state it flows. Other rivers adding to it, along the way it grows. Washington has a dragon. It's tiny, but it can fly. Dragonfly starts with D. How many can you spy? E is for the evergreen state, forests of old growth and rain. Our nickname comes from nature's unbroken chain. F is for our state flag with the face of a president. Even though George Washington never was a resident, which means he never lived here, but we are the only state named after a president. G is for Goldendale Observatory. This is a place to gaze at all the stars and planets, a place that will amaze. H is for horses, a Native American breed. Appaloosa came from the Palouse Hills, known for their beauty, grace, and speed. I is for islands. Bainbridge and Cypress are two. San Juan, Lopez, and Whidbey, orcas. Can you name a few? J is for justices. These nine rule supreme. William O. Douglas was one of their team. Those are the judges in Washington, D.C., and William O. Douglas came from Washington State. K is for kites. See thousands at Long Beach. Children run and chase as they fly out of reach. L is for Landis. It never had been done. Seattle chose a lady mayor, the country's number one. Something Seattle can be proud of, electing the first female or woman later, mayor. Bertha Knight Landis. M is for Mother Joseph. She worked hard to find a way to serve the sick and poor. April 16 is Mother Joseph Day. N. N is for the nuggets at the end of the Yukon Trail. A lucky few found gold, but thousands went and failed. O is for Olympia on the shores of Puget Sound. Here our state government and capital can be found. P is for the Peace Arch. On our border it stands, a symbol of the unity between two common lands. That is the United States and Canada. Q is for Quinault, an Indian reservation, one of many in our state, each a sovereign nation. R is for Rainier, Washington's highest peak. Mountaineers climb its slope for adventure that they seek. 
Seattle and Space Needle start with the letter S. Travel 605 feet to the top for a view that will impress. T is for Tri-Cities. Before these cities were made, this was a gathering place where people came to trade. U is for the U.S. Navy. Their ships come and go. Carriers on the surface, submarines down below. V is for volcanoes. Mount St. Helens and her blast. What, what a big disaster. We hope it was her last. W is for Western Hemlock. Here birds sing and hop. See the tiny goldfinch right up near the top. X is for the X in the name of this big star, Jimi Hendrix. Born in Seattle, sang and played guitar. Y is for the Yakima Valley, where sun and irrigation help produce fruits and vegetables that feed our entire nation. Z is for zoos. Our state has three. Animals from around the world for everyone to see. In the back there's a question series or quiz about facts about Washington State that you can take and check. E is for Evergreen, a Washington Alphabet by Marie and Roland Smith and illustrated by Linda Holt Ayres. Thanks, friends.